Hello scrapbookers, this is Megan and I am back today with a Spiegel Mom Scraps video. So for a change of pace today, I thought I would scrap lift a couple cards from this old close to my heart catalog. So what I am going to end up doing is just scrap lifting the one and kind of coming up with my own little idea for the second one. Okay, so here I just have some white cardstock and I am going to use my bone folder to fold that. And then here I have this Jiven Jade and it is Acritones, which is some of the new Shimmers Paints products. And what I wanted to do was draw my own lines. You could kind of see from the um, the catalog picture that there was just a bunch of lines and I think they were probably water colored on but I thought it would be fun to use the acr acritones to kind of make some fun lines on this little card. So here you can see I'm making my mat all dirty and just having some fun. So here I'm gonna set that aside and clean up my table and then I th think I'm gonna I don't know what I'm going to do. Actually, maybe I'm going to pull out the el the embellishments for this. Um, no, I'm just kidding. Sorry. I am going to start working on my second card idea. So what I was thinking was I could pick out a um, embossing folder and use this little texture boutique um, embossing machine thing. <laughs> it does. I don't think you can do like. It's not like a big shot, it's just to do embossing with. So I just have a few embossing folders. Um, so here I am using some textured paper and then I decided to pull out some non-textured paper to see if that would work better. And I do kind of like the way that looks just a little bit better. Let me actually see, make sure, yeah. So I did end up using the non-textured paper and I buy my white non-textured paper um, in 12 by 12 sheets and I buy them from Close to My Heart because I absolutely love Close to My Heart. Okay, so now I have that embossed paper and my idea behind that was that I would put the acritones on top of it, paint it on top of it, and then kind of um, brush a little bit off of it so that it would have the so that it would be kind of like a resist technique thing. It doesn't quite work out that way, but apparently I'm back to the first card again here. So here I pull out a tag from the Spiegel Mom Scraps shop, as well as those cute I Cork You hearts. I'm also going to use a, let's see, how many? I think I just use one of these sprinkle packs. And I believe it's called Amy's Sprinkles is the one that I used. I have been using that one a lot lately. Okay, so I got those cork hearts down. And now here I am going to glue down all of these sequins. And then I'm going to do a stamp. And the stamp is going to be super random because... Um, <laughs> I decided to go with a Father's Day stamp, so it says Happy Father's Day, and Father's Day is what, like three months away? I don't know what made me go with Happy Father's Day. So, I just thought that was kind of funny and random of me <laughs> to choose that stamp. But anyway, here you can see I'm using my Zots to glue down all of these sequins, which is always super fun and super tedious, right? <laughs> Which you would think would kind of deter me from using sequins, and um, it doesn't because I just absolutely love sequins. Okay, and if you did not know, Jody is doing a design team call, so head on over to the blog or the Instagram to get a little bit more information about that. I will try to remember to leave a link below to all of the social media so that you can find out how you can apply because seriously, I love being on Jody's design team. She is a great boss, so much fun to work with, and the ladies on the team are so fun to work with as well. 
Okay, so now here you can see I am using this simple typed uh, message. I don't remember what it's called. I think I showed you. Did I show you? I don't remember if I showed you what it was called. Um, I will try to leave a link below once again. I just keep saying that, right? <laughs> I'll try to be better about leaving links. But um, it is a close to my heart stamp. And it's just a simple, a very simple typewriter font. And it says, Happy Father's Day. Very generic, right? <laughs> so here I'm going to stamp it up there at the top. And then I'm going to stamp off the excess on the bottom. And that card is done. Super exciting, right? Simple, simple. I love simple. And it was just super fun and easy. Okay, so now we're going to move back over to the second card. Maybe. Here we go. And like I was saying, um, my idea was to kind of do like a resist technique. But it kind of dries too fast because I take forever um, putting it on. So it dries too fast. <laughs> and so it doesn't work out as well as I had wanted it to. Um... But I still really, really, really love how this card turned out. I think this one is my favorite from both of them. So here you can see I'm just using my mat again as my surface. And here is where I try to pull off some of that paint. And it doesn't work. Um, but it's okay. In the end, it works out. I was kind of bummed, but eh, it's all good. You can still kind of see the indentation from the embossing. Um... I don't know if you could tell what embossing folder I used, but it was a Stampin' Up! one, and it was clouds, and it was super cute. So, as you can see down there in the left hand of the video, I have pulled out these cloud um, felties, and I'm just going to layer them in groupings throughout the card, and I just really love this. I had so much fun with this, this card. Okay, so now here I'm trying to decide, blah, 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 I can talk. <laughs> I'm trying to decide what uh, stamp I want to use, because I wanted to use the same stamp set just to make my life easier. And this one says, just because, and I was trying to use the slate, or not, yeah, slate gray from Close to My Heart, but it, was, it wasn't dark enough. So I decided to go with sapphire, and that one worked perfect, and it just stood out, and I loved the color mixed with the kind of greenish blue. Then I also stamped out XOXOXO from that same stamp set and I'm gonna stamp um, that one in gray as well. And the stamping is done so now all I have to do is glue down those um, clouds and then I'm also going to use a, a sequin mix that I haven't used before um, I have found it really hard to use, and I don't know why, because I love this, this set that I pick out, but it's called, oh no, now I'm not going to remember what it's called, <coughs> Plum Dreamsicle, I think, <coughs> excuse me, um, or Plumsicle, maybe, I can't remember, but it's super cute, I will leave a link below so that you can find it in the shop, and I just absolutely love the way it looks against the, the tealish greenish background. So here I'm just gluing down all of those cute little felties and just loving this card so much. Okay, so now here you can see the, um, the sequin mix and I just really loved this turned out so cute and it was so much fun to make. So I hope that you have enjoyed this video. I will be sure to leave a link to the blog post below. And like I said, Jody is doing a design team call, so you will want to make sure to apply for that. Also, if you want to make a purchase in her shop, I will leave a link to her shop below. And if you use the code Megan15, you will get 15% off your order, which is pretty awesome. I need to actually go and place another order with her because I want to buy some pink spray because crazy enough, I don't have any pink spray. I have pink like dazzlers and a bunch of pink paint and stuff, but no pink spray. It's really weird. 
Okay, so now here I am just cutting the card for this um, cloud card, and I'm just using my bone folder. I just got that at Michael's for like five bucks or something like that. Maybe It probably was even cheaper than that with a coupon. Then I'm going to glue the front piece to the base, and then I am done. I think, let's see. No, yeah, I'm done. I was going to say, I think I ink it. Oh, here, this is what I do. So I pulled out my snowstorm um, shimmers, and I kind of put that along there, and then this card is done. I hope you enjoyed watching me make these cards for a change of pace, and I will see you guys again in a couple weeks. Bye. Mm -hmm.